Hey everyone, okay, so uh, I said in part 20, yeah, 20, um, I'd be having a guest, and here he is, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, hey, hello everybody, I'm Safazen, I'm a Let's Player like our good friend Teal Game Master here, and I didn't actually know I was mentioned in a video before this Yes, I guest. mentioned you in part 20, which hasn't been uploaded yet, it's the one to be uploaded tonight, so, yeah. Um, yeah, you were only supposed to be doing Halloween Town, but I was just like, ah, screw it, you can be in Atlant Atlantic as well. Yes, must be in everything, humanly yes, possible. Yes, exactly. I, um, I may have mentioned that there was a wonderful story for us to tell at some point, but I don't know when that should be done. Ah, yes! Yes, I do remember the story. Yes, since you would want to tell it to me, so... Uh, oh, I guess we could tell it now if you want. Yeah, okay, we can, we can do it now. I guess we got we got nothing to talk about apart from flying. Look, there's, look at all these rocks. Aren't they green? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, if there's anybody a fan of green flying rocks, they would love this sequence. They really would. It's it's orgasmic. It really is. I mean, Indeed. Oh, oh, Shell G. Oh, I mean, who doesn't love Shell G? Indeed. Marvelous so, woman. Uh, right, yeah, you were saying. Story. <laughs> I, I suppose the story we're talking about here, and I just want to make sure I'm going on the right story, is my experience with Target, correct? Yes, when you were buying a mic. Alright, so I was at Target the other day buying a new uh, zero latency condenser microphone from Target because apparently they're the only store in the world that can sell one. By which I mean I was too lazy to check anywhere else. I love how it starts a really simple story. So I was buying something from Target. You know, a simple blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah, write that, yeah. <laughs> so I was uh, checking out, and the guy was like, hey, what do you, you do music or something with the mic? And I'm like, no, actually, I record game audio and upload it to YouTube. I'm a Let's Player. And he's like, oh, you're a Let's Player. Ah, oh, man, I'm a big fan of one of these Let's Players. Uh, let's see, let me uh, think of a few of them. Well, we got Big Dip on a bus and Teal Game Master. I'm like, ah! I'm a good friend of Teal Game Master. He's like, no way, dude, dude, you gotta, you gotta say hi to me for me. And I'm like, well, what are the odds this happens? Yeah, <laughs> that is surprising. Like, seriously, so, um, random man at Target, hi, uh, how are you? <laughs> the surprising one isn't, he didn't mention some big name like yeah. John Conroy, not that he has bad work, but he didn't yeah. mention any Yeah, I know, he could have mentioned anyone, but he mentioned me, which was amazing, so you are awesome, good sir, I hope you're watching this. Well, he said he was yes. a fan of the Kingdom Hearts 2 Let's Play, didn't he? Ah, uh, yes, yes, so there is a good chance that you were mentioned yeah. in this video, and if, if you are, uh, yeah. this one, this is a shout out for you, sir. Yes, it, you, uh, I think you said he was a Let's Player, uh, as well. Yeah, oh yes, yeah. yes, he's on Minecraft Let's Player for, uh, Hunger Games servers, so oh, yes, cool. uh, So, uh, yeah, if, uh, t tell me your channel, and, uh, you know, I may as well put a link in the description for being awesome, uh, so yeah. Yes! So yeah, that's that is amazing. Like the odds of that is just it's insane. It's wonderful. Astronomical. It is, Astronomical. It is a wonderful moment when that happens. Ah, yes. What? <laughs> well, that happened. Really then? Oh really? All right then. So that's powerful. <laughs> Load to self. Wasn't dodge that. that. Awesome. I that, I had full health. I I think after this voyage, I'm going to have to change ship. Which I don't remember how to do, but eh, that was fine, I well, guess. find out. In the next part, no. Well, yes. Some point soon, in the future, in the distant future. It will future. be the cliffhanger. Yeah. Can Teal figure out how to change his ship without it blowing up? Find out. Not not the ship, the game. The game will blow up if I get it wrong. So, you know, you've got to Everything will just blow up. Yeah, Everything that, that's what the, the Mayans ship. predicted all this time. Yes. Who knew it would be something so late. simple? So speaking of astronomical odds, are, are, is, I never understood the point of these uh, gummy ships. Are we in space? Uh, we're in the, uh, like the, um, in the Boy, second worlds. one. It was yeah, pretty much. The second one was like unlocking new pathways because these ones were uh, blocked uh, at the end of this game. Um, they were sealed off because we saved everything. Oh, spoiler alert! That's not really a spoiler. Um, so yeah, there's uh, so because of that, they, these pathways were sealed off, so we can go to them again. Um, so uh, basically, we had to open new ones. So basically, this is just sort of like space traveling to new worlds, but there were new ones in the second one because of reasons. I feel like 
Birth by Sleep explained it the best. I believe it was in Birth, of, Birth by Sleep that they I said haven't it played was just... much of that. Again, which I've oh, mentioned in sorry, Part 20. What I mentioned in Part 20, I've only played Terror's Story and a bit of Vent. And the reason is, I was originally doing a written Let's Play, uh, like Big Dip did with um, Platinum. Was Platinum, was it? Was it Platinum? I, I... He did a written one or something. I think that may have been it. Yeah, I think it was Platinum. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, oh, actually, no, maybe Brian did the Platinum one. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the point stands. Um, Somebody in that family did it. Yeah. Uh, I know they've both done one. Anyway, the point is, uh, I started doing one, and I hadn't saved up and I did for like four worlds, and I hadn't saved with uh, with Ven, and I went decided, oh, I'll try the uh, Mirage Arena, and I froze against the boss, and yeah, I got a bit annoyed, so I thought, all right, I'm not playing as Ven anymore, uh, so because um, I lost everything. Um, also, that tree boss was annoying, uh, so that. Yeah, I didn't play that again for a bit, um, or ever since then. Then I did, um, then I did, don't tell me monster is here. You cannot be serious. Ah, oh, bollocks. Yeah. Oh, well, then. bollocks. That just happened. No. No. <laughs> please let Blood me. Plot twist. Please let me travel to Atlantica. <laughs> please. He's going to say no. I'm going to take that as a big no. Uh, oh well. At least I know my way around here now. Plot twist! Plot twist, giant whale. <laughs> I've already done this, so. This will be a plot twist in every great book. There's always a giant whale to eat you. Hmm. In Pinocchio, giant whale. No. Uh, Jonah, giant whale. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Oh my god, why have I forgotten the name of it? Oh my uh, god, it's 42! What's the book called? <laughs> 42 Meaning of Life, I what's the book? Talking. I know you're talking about a Moby Dick! No, but the uh, Meaning oh. of Life, it, well yeah, Moby Dick, but it was in that in that film slash book. Oh my god, what's it called? Oh my god. I thought you were talking about Moby Dick, I guess we're talking about two completely different books Yes, here. I'm. it's also a film. Uh, it's got the Meaning of Life 42 in it. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's it called? Why is it name escaped me so? Oh my God! What? As soon as you stop thinking about it, you'll think of it. it in the middle really... of the next episode, I'm like, ah, oh, that was the book. Yeah, it's going to destroy me. It really is. Oh, Bill Bailey voiced the whale. <laughs> Wait, somebody voiced the whale? Yeah, it was. It was at the beginning of it when it was so long and thanks for the fish. Oh my God! What? Was it called Jesus Christ? No, it wasn't called Jesus Christ. But yeah, I'm about to say that is an oddly uh, named whale. Oh my God! <laughs> Everyone's just like, oh, it's this, it's this. I know it is. I just can't think of it right now. Hey, there's Atlantica. Cool. I found the right one. Well, hey there. Uh, speaking of uh, whales, it looks like we're gonna hopefully never see one again. But we're still going underwater. Yeah. So, uh, like. Get into a landscape. Oh, it's that! <laughs> well then. Oh, alright, oh, yeah, saying, hey guys, prepare for landing. Oh, wait, we'll drown. That's right. Oh, I forgot, oh, yeah, drowning. That's, yeah. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Let's land underwater in our giant spaceship. Uh, no. Makes sense. It seems no, no, legit. No, no, no. We can tra use magic. Mm, yeah, alright. Well, technically, Square Enix did have a part in this, so I suppose. Giant airships underwater isn't really unheard of. Those impudent fools will never find the keyhole. I will not tolerate those creatures inside this palace. The sea and all its spoils bow to my power! So, Atlantica. Fish. 
Why? It describes is, every ocean. Oh my god, that, that, that film book, oh my god, oh my god. All I've got in my head is Midsummer Night's Dream and it's definitely not that. It's like the opposite of that. Come on, Sebastian. Why? <laughs> If I were ever to have a pet crab, that would be my pet crab. Clearly. It's, it's beautiful. It's actually technically a lobster, but yes. Ah, yes, yes. I, was, I knew you were going to say you were going to correct me there if I was wrong. I knew it. As did most of the audience, I'm sure. Yeah. I love the voice of Ariel. By the way, is it loud enough for you? Oh, it's perfect, sir. Okay, good. What do you mean? I can... I'm definitely not... Sort of fooling because I have no idea what I'm doing. Where are you from? Uh, we're from kind of far away. And Something I've never noticed does, does Sora have a backwards <laughs> penis? Well, then, I don't think so. It's either a fin or what I said the first time. I think it's supposed to be a fin. <laughs> it may have been a fin, yes. Yeah, it does look a bit wrong though. Uh, easy views here. Okay, it's time for you to learn how to swim properly. Let's let's swim. I cannot remember, but I'm sure he just explained it and I don't care. Uh, so I think it's basically circle, rise and square. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, I can do this. This is something I can do. I can swim. It's quite easy, actually. So, can't complain. Let me know when we find Nemo. Yes, uh, I'll, I'll, be sure to, I'll be sure to tell Marlin. Because, you know... Finding Nemo 2 is going to happen, so this is clearly the location that they're filming in. Yes. Why is there a sequel? <laughs> Who knows? Nemo has a son called Nemo Jr., and they have to find Nemo because Nemo Jr. is a dick, just like Nemo was. And, uh, yeah, um, I guess <laughs> that'll be it. And the entire plot is set on the moon. That'll do, yeah, and they'll uh, and they'll meet X Nauts, and there'll be and a massive there, battle. There will be, there will be space lobsters and space pirates from Metroid and other weird knickknacks and doodads. Mm, and it will be the ultimate battle to see who is greater. Yes. Lasers will also be used. And Sebastian will eat everything. You're a terrible swimmer. <laughs> you are the worst swimmer I've ever seen in my entire yeah, most life. Most lobsters, most okay. lobsters, you know, they just walk. Okay, I, sh I sh probably shouldn't tell this story, but I am an okay. I was an awful swimmer, basically in year four, um, which is when well, was it year four? Maybe it's year three. Which how old was I? Then? I was five, six, seven, around nine-ish, um, nine, ten. Uh, basically, we went swimming uh, with the class um, uh, with, for school, and probably one of the most embarrassing things I'm ever going to say, or whatever. Uh, basically, we um, we had to well, obviously go swimming, and we we were told, "Oh, you must do back backstroke." And I was like, "Okay, never done this. It's kind of scared of water." Sure, all right, give it a go. Uh, because I was scared, my eyes were closed. And I thought everyone was sort of cheering me on because I was doing okay. Yeah, it turns out I wasn't moving for a good two minutes with my eyes closed. It was yeah, well done me. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. That was well. I I'm sure you got an award or something. I'm hoping. N uh, no, Best, no, just uh, mocked. CPR recipient ever. I guess. No, I, I just got mocked for a good year or so. It was, ah, it was fun. Yeah. Mm, so well, I'm just going to take all this stuff from Ariel because, you know, Ariel deserves nothing. Yes, nothing at all. This equipment is better suited for... Me. I don't know. Anybody else. Yeah, like me. I would like this equipment. Actually, speaking of what... You know, I have potions. Okay, cool. Um, I think I did all my abilities last time. I did. Okay, cool. Right. Um, yeah, so that was, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Although in year well, six... I have a story. Okay, uh, I'll... For water, yeah. I suppose. Go ahead. I've always wanted to go to California and ride dolphins, but as it turns out, when I got to California, apparently it is illegal to ride dolphins. So here I was with a dolphin in the back of my car, and I just didn't know what to do with it. Good thing there were some Chinese folks. They, they pay me good money for a good dinner. 
That is. They also picked my dog. But... That was beautiful. Yes. Was... Oh man, I, I can't believe that. I did a terrible joke um, a few parts ago <laughs> to do a panda. I can't. Does it involve dolphins and pandas? It didn't involve dolphins, but it involved pandas. I can't remember why I said the panda thing. I think it was. I think it was because there was. I was. I don't know why I talked about pandas. I'm sure there was a reason. But um, it was either actually no, it might have been in WarriorWare. Now that I think about it, but uh, I'll tell it again because it was wonderful. Um, the other day I had to lift up a panda with only one finger. The lifting was easy. The hard part was finding a panda with only one finger. Oh, it's oh yeah. See. Oh. oh man, that was beautiful. Uh, right. What? Oh right, Mithril Shard. I was gonna say, why is it giving me nothing? Cool. <laughs> So yeah, your treasure chests in this world are pretty much like shells, <laughs> or clams, so that's pretty cool I guess. It's a nice world. I'm a shark. I thing. don't really like it, I prefer sandy, vastly, I don't know, big areas that don't involve water at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I, I, I mean it's, it's an interesting gimmick, I, I like the idea, it's better than King Hearts 2's Atlantica. <laughs> Oh yeah, we we don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, just, no. oh yeah, I erased that from my mind. Yeah, we we, we don't. No, yeah. I'm just not a big water area fan. In fact, I can only think of one water area that I genuine genuinely like from any video game, and it's from the Zelda series. So oh, which uh, which area? I prefer the water temple of uh, Twilight Princess. I just like the water going downstairs and whatnot. I would. I was always, as a kid, I would like have gone to a house that was flooded or something. I thought that would have been interesting. Right. Fair enough. Because I, um, I haven't played much of Twilight Princess because I got, I got to the second wolf section and I was just like, okay, I've had enough of this. This is so dull. <laughs> I do not yes, like the wolf at the all. Wolves. The wolf is not fun. Well, not much, anyway. It has its moments. Sort of, but... Eh. I didn't like the wolf. It was a bit complicated and pointless and really not needed. And boring. But, yeah, that's, that's my opinion, I'm sorry. <laughs> In the next Zelda game, you will play through Hyrule as a crawdad, and you will turn into various types of monkeys. I think that's where the Zelda series is going. Hmm, I, I certainly hope the motion controls are much better in the next one. It will be controlled by stuffing your nose into a bowl of rice. Hmm, alright then. I can do that. Seems easy enough. I like rice. Rice likes you. Aww. Did you say that personally? Aww. Thank you, rice. Yes, yes, rice is, rice is doing alright. Excellent. So glad. I was worried. We haven't been talking for a while. Oh, these guys! Ah! <laughs> God, I hate these things. Oh, that's my cousin Al. How's Al doing? Oh, you just killed Al. Oh, sorry. Shame. Sorry about that. Uh, don't worry, he was already dead. But um, um, fish. <laughs> I, I, I'm just waiting for a moment. I know it's not going to happen because it's Kingdom Hearts. I'm just waiting for Demix to come out of nowhere and say, "Dance, water, dance." Well, that would be great. <laughs> that would, that's just like the the highlight of the Kingdom Hearts series is Demix coming out and just saying that. Which is odd, because I, for the first time I played Kingdom Hearts 2, I always had a tr uh, difficult time defeating Demix, so not too entirely sure why I like him so much. Mm, yeah, I, I had trouble at first. Like, Demix is just one of those where it makes no sense why you die, because of because I, I because can only assume that you get raped by water or something, because you die yes. after 10 seconds. Because it makes sense. Maybe you drown immediately, maybe you're you're a hydrophobic and you just can't stand the sight of water-shaped notes. Or yes. Note -shaped water. <laughs> or you're allergic, I don't know. It's only now, you're only now getting a reaction, you need to um, administer the, the uh, cure within 10 seconds. Oh, you didn't, shame. <laughs> Clams! Wasn't there, um... Wasn't that a SpongeBob episode called Clams? <laughs> Did it involve clams and a clam child being raised by SpongeBob and Patrick? I vaguely. Hello from Apple World. I just remember that from SpongeBob. 
I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, that's that, it's cool. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't watched SpongeBob in ages. I've seen series one to four. I, I can't remember as much from it as I'd hope. But I'm I still questioning how SpongeBob can be such a long-running series when the jokes are. I would say I bet they're getting old. Yeah, probably. I, series one to four were great. They were fantastic. So I think it sort of went downhill after that. Well, let's all remember, for those of us who are old enough, that Spongebob started when Cat Dog started, and guess which one is still running? Spongebob! <laughs> yep. I remember Cat Dog, that was pretty good. <laughs> if you guessed Cat Dog, by the way, you have lost uh, all privileges to watch this video. Thank you. Yeah, uh, your IP has been noted, so uh, you are banned from YouTube. No, that'd be a bit cruel. And your dinner has been stolen. That's a bit cruel. Can't let them starve. They've lost All YouTube. Right. Your milk money has been stolen. There we go. That'll do. And eaten, by the way. A lot of uh, money eating people out there for some reason. Crabs. <laughs> Mr. Crabs. Yes, he eats money. He does. I'm pretty sure he did in one episode. I'm almost positive of that. <laughs> you know, I actually, at first I was kind of like, eh, one, okay. Now I'm like, eh, I can actually see that happening, yes. I swear he does. I I think he goes delirious <laughs> in one episode. Because oh, I know what it was. He he made his one million dollar and um, a giant clam eats it. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It. Well, that's a client meeting it then. So make make of that what you will. <laughs> but no, I'm sure he he gets it back and he like he he puts it between his teeth or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> he goes insane, so you need to know. Why can I not examine this? Oh, because there's enemies, apparently. Oh, like you, alright. I want to see what this chest is, I don't remember, could you please go away? No, not that go away, I mean die go away. No, <laughs> come on! It's just gonna keep doing it. It's like, ha, I'm gonna spite you. There we go. What Maybe is the this? game is connected to the internet, and some guy far away is controlling the enemies just to screw with you. Huh, well, can't be pulled out yet. Alright, alright. All right. That's, that's disappointing. Oh, I thought you had to push this out the wall. Oh, alright then. <laughs> ah! Apparently not. <laughs> 